Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Raise Guide. Patch 3.13.1 is including a new feature for assisting trade that has a tie-in to delivering needed supplies to the Invictus Launch Week festivities. If you're unfamiliar with it, here is Ray's One Minute Brief. Hey there, this is Ray with an Ops Brief on the new Commodity Price Alerts, which will make it easy to make some money doing trading. You'll find them at the bottom of the list in your journal. It's really basic, you just see a list of places with a lot of supply or something and discount price and places with a substantial unmet demand. So, for example, we got new Babbage here being hungry for some processed food and not far away Bud's Growery has an oversupply. So let's fire up the style lifter and see how big the demand is. And here we are at Bud's Growery in a comical comparative of size and let's see. Yep, 696 processed food to buy. No idea where they stored it. Then off to new Babbage for the sale. Note that you do not take these commodities to Price Alerts Cargo to the TDD or that big ugly building in Lowville. You take them to the admin offices, the Area 18 office building, or MT Planetary Services. Took two tries with the system failure in between, but I was able to sell the whole Herxworth. This is Ray with Ray's Guide. Some folks are shouting that trade in Star Citizen has finally been fixed. Is that actually justified? I have to say it's overstating things. These new commodity price alerts are a bandage, a badly needed and highly sought after bandage for sure, but not a cure. The fact that there is no user interface, doesn't include the usual trade hubs, and the full range of commodities should be more than enough indication that CIG saw a train wreck coming with Invictus and a free fly event with trade being in such bad shape and decided that something had to be done quickly beforehand. But there are some heartening indications of where CIG is taking this that may bode well for the actual fixed trade system. First of all, you're getting your trade information from your Mobi Glass, not by visiting some external website. Sure, it is a dull list, but there ought to be more full three-column Mobi Glass app similar to Missions, but it is a real start on getting your trade information in the right place in the right way. Second, you are getting both your buy price, sell price, and an indication of demand before you start. It's not going to be go to the place first and only then see what they have and at what price, and then go to the second place and only then find out what the price and demand is. You hook up supply and demand and make a plan and then head out. All of this says that they are heading towards the direction that I predicted that they would have to go to implement a fixed trading system in a server meshed reality integrated with quanta economics, and that is an offer acceptance trade system. So, apart from a better user interface, how would my envisioned offer acceptance system differ from these new commodity price alerts? Well, the commodity price alerts just says we have an overstock of this commodity and are willing to sell it for this price. The offer acceptance model says we have 50,000 SCU of this commodity and are willing to sell it for this price. And then you, based on your reputation and ship size, can say, I'll take 696 of them. Here's the money. And then when you get there, you just tell them, load it up. Similarly, the commodity price alert system now just says we have an understock of this commodity and are willing to pay this much for it. In the offer acceptance model, they would say, we have a need for 100,000 SCU of a commodity. And then you, again, based on your reputation and largest ship size, would say, I'll supply 969 of it. And there is a refundable deposit to show you why I'm serious. So to recap, this is a bandage, a well-needed bandage, and a good first step towards where I think eventually they will need to be taking trading in order to have a great trading system in Star Citizen. This is Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.